going on, guys? Welcome to episode two of Rotten or Fresh. I'm Ryan O'Toole, back once again, your host of Rotten or Fresh. Welcome to episode two. We have four new contestants battling it out in this episode. If you watched episode one of Rotten or Fresh, you see that Sean Chandler talks about came out fresh. Now we're going to see which one of these four new contestants is going to be fresh. Thank you guys once again for all the love and success you gave on the first episode. And now we're back for episode two. Let's introduce the new contestants. First up, we have Cedric Purcell. Cedric, introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Cedric Purcell, and I do movie reviews just like Ryan here. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> All right. And then up next, we have Cody Curtis. Cody, say what's up. Hey, guys. My name is Cody Curtis. I'm just a regular guy like you on YouTube who loves to talk about movies, Star Wars, and everything cinematic. So like the Jedi before us, may the Force be with us, and let's get the thing started. Oh, yes. And then up, we have Jeff Milliki from Jafito's Movie Blog. What's up, Jeff? Hey Ryan, thanks for having me on. Yeah, I'm Jeff Malicki. You can find me on YouTube here at Jeffito's Movie Blog. I do movie news, movie reviews, box office predictions, play along with the Schmodown over on Collider Video, all sorts of fun stuff. And then finally, we have Tyler Tompkins. Tyler, introduce yourself. What's up, Ryan? Thanks again for letting me be on this show. I'm really excited, and I was telling you earlier, I've studied more for this than I have any test in recent memory, but uh, I do everything that these guys do too. I do movie reviews, Blu-ray videos, TV show reviews, and everything in between. Awesome. All four of these guys are ready and we're not going to waste any time. Let's start the show. Round one works as follows. Each contestant will get 10 movies from 12 out of the selected movie categories. They're randomized. Everyone has the categories in front of them. You will all have 20 seconds to come up with an answer as to what the Rotten Tomato score is for that specific movie. If a contestant is able to guess the exact Rotten Tomato score perfectly, they'll get two points. But if they don't, the person who's closest to the score without going over gets one point. You will all be writing your answers down on a piece of paper in this round. Once it is your turn, please show your answers to the cameras in front of you and please repeat what you have written down on your whiteboard or piece of paper. All right, your first question, guys, comes in the category Action Adventure. And your movie is Fast Five, directed by Justin Lin, starring Vin Diesel and Dwayne Johnson. A lot of people say Fast Five is definitely the best Fast and Furious movie. My favorite is Furious 7, but I really like this one. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. All right, Cedric, what do you have? Uh, I said 80%. Cody, what do you have? I have 78%. Jeff? 76%. And Tyler? 77%. Tyler Tompkins, you got the exact correct score. It is 77%. Two points for Tyler. We're already off to a hot start. Damn. All right. <laughs> and, you're in, all right, your next category, guys, is crime movies. Your name is Scarface. 1983, directed by Brian De Palma, starring Al Pacino. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a lot of impressions. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Cody, what do you have? I have 94%. Jeff? 92%. Tyler? I'm with 81%. Cedric. Uh, I said 89%. All right. Tyler gets the point yet again. He was the closest to the score without going over. 82%. Just by oh. one point. So one point for Tyler. Come I, on, guys. I knew, so, I knew it was somewhere in the <laughs> <It's> 90s. <okay. laughs> Man, so close. It's okay. All right. 
The next category is animated movies. And your movie is Aladdin. Directed by Ron Clements and John Musker, starring Robin Williams. Street Raft, Rift Raft, I don't buy that! Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Jeff, what do you have? 93%. Tyler. Put 92%. Cedric? I put 95%. And Cody? 96%. All right. And the person who gets the point is Jeff. You were one point by the score. 94%. What? Oh, I was one point by the score. You went, you went, one, you went over. Oh, Sorry, Cedric. God. One point for Jeff. <laughs> Life's not fair. Jeff, Cedric, you better get this one next. Your next category is comedy. Oh damn it! it your movie funny. is. <laughs> your movie is Hot Fuzz. Directed Ooh. by Edgar Wright, starring Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. I just saw this movie too. <laughs> Your doctor, motherfucker. <laughs> Your doctor, <laughs> deal with it. Yeah, motherfucker. Oh my god. Ah, shit. Man. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Tyler, what do you have? I put 91%. Cedric. Uh, I said 77%. Cody, what do you have? I have 88%. Jeff? 86%. Tyler Tompkins yet again gets the exact score, 91%. Whoa. Two points for Tyler. Wow, wow. good going, Tyler. Holy cow. Damn. Didn't expect that one. <laughs> Tell him to all right, your next. <laughs> Tell him to close all his. Tabs. Your next category is <laughs> Tom Cruise movies. Ooh, okay. Tom Cruise. Study this one. one. Study this one. <laughs> all right, guys, your movie is Jack Reacher. Never go back. Oh God. Oh, gosh. Direct uh, oh. Never go back to the theater. Two, three words. Piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, that's an understatement. My experience is pretty good. I got to meet him. Yeah, you did get to meet him. <laughs> How tall Five, is he? <laughs> four, three, Five, one. two, that one. Time. Time. one, time. All right, Cedric, what do you have? I put 35%, but it's probably much lower. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, what do you have? 38%, which is a lot more than it deserves. Jeff, what do you 32 have? 32%. Probably still a little high. And Tyler? 37%. Tyler, yet again, gets the exact score. What? Yeah. Seven I, studied, I, studied, I studied Tom Cruise. I studied Tom I Cruise. I caution you. <laughs> no, I studied Tom Cruise. <laughs> Tyler is destroying you guys right now. All right, your next category, guys, is new releases. Okay. And your movie is War for the Planet of the Apes. Okay. <laughs> You may want to take some time on this one. I'm just <laughs> Apes together, strong. Do five. that, ape. No, no. <laughs> five, four, three, two. Oh no! All right, Cody. What do you have? I have ninety-five percent. Jeff, what do you? Have? I have seventy-six percent, but it should be much higher. Tyler. Have 93%. Oh my God. Cedric. I got 89. Oh, so, yeah, 89%. And Tyler Tompkins has got it yet again. 93%. Come on, man. Did you? 
I started. I started. I promise. I did. I did started. Did you give him the list, Ryan? Did you give him the list of all of them? I did not. I have the list of the exact movies. Ryan. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. The next category is comic book movies, and your movie is Green Lantern. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. Ne never again will I say that movie's name in vain. Not until they remake it. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, stop. All right, Jeff, what do you I have? I have 27%. Tyler? I put 28%. Cedric? I did 20%. And... Cody. I went 53%. And the person who gets the point is Cedric. Oh, God. Thank you. You did not I go thought, over. I thought it was 20, 26%. <laughs> you get one point. Wow. Tyler and Jeff were so Way close. Off. All right, guys. Your next category is sci-fi movies. And your movie is Elysium. Directed by Neil Blomkamp, starring Matt Damon. <laughs> Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Totally a forgotten Neil Blomkamp. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. In a while. I know he goes bald. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. All right, Cedric, what do you have? Uh, for some reason, 53% uh, sounded correct. Cody, what do you have? 43%. Jeff? I'm going to go 72%. And Tyler? 77%. I think I went over, though. And Cedric, yet again, you were the closest to the score. It was 67%. Wow. So one point for okay. Cedric. All right, All do, right, I, do I close the Rotten Tomatoes tabs now? Or? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. All right, guys, your next category is Martin Scorsese God. movies. Got it. Got it. And your, and your movie is Taxi Driver. Ooh, that's Ooh. a good one. Oh, yes. And we got five. Four, three, two, one, stop. All right, Cody, what do you have? I have 84%. Jeff, what do you have? I put 94%. Tyler? 99%. And Cedric? I went 1% lower, I did 98%. And... The correct answer was Tyler. The exact score, 99%. Wow. Do, do I get half a point? That was one point off? Or? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Your next category is, and your final one, is war movies. Your movie okay. is Black Hawk Down, directed by Ridley Scott. A pretty underrated Ridley Scott film. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Jeff, what do you have? I put 93%. Tyler? I put 77%. Cedric? I did uh, 83%. And Cody? Right below Tyler, 76%. And Cody, you got the exact score. It was what? 76%. Six nice. That was a nice, total dude. guess. So two wow. points for Cody. Very impressive job. At the end of round one, Tyler is off to a hot start with 11 points. In second place, we have a tie with both Cody and Cedric with two points. And in third place, with still plenty of time to catch up, is Jeff with one point. How did you guys do in round one? Did any of you match the Rotten Tomatoes scores perfectly? 
Let us know in the comments down below. All right, let's get into round two. Round two is the individual round. You'll all be given the opportunity to pick two categories of your choice in this round. Once you pick your category, you're going to get three questions, whatever category you choose. If you get the question right, every question in this round is worth two points. But multiple choice is available in this round. If you choose multiple choice and you get it right, it's worth one point. If you get the question wrong, however, you must choose one of your contestants to steal. And the same point value applies to the stealer. Exactly. You will all have 20 seconds to answer the question. And keep in mind, after you choose a category in this round, it's out till the next round. And the person with the least amount of points at the end of this round will be the first rotten contestant. Jeff, since you're in last place, you get to pick your first category of choice in round two. What do you pick, Jeff? I think I'm actually going to go with animated. Animated. All right. All right, Jeff. Here's your first question in animated. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Frozen? I'm going to say 95%. That is incorrect. Who do you choose to steal? Uh... I will go with Cody. Cody, remember you don't get multiple choice. All right, I think 86%. That is also incorrect. You were so close, Cody. It was 89%. Oh. <laughs> That's the tough thing with not choosing multiple choice. You put the pressure on. <laughs> All right, Jeff, which 1995 animated film has the lowest score on Rotten Tomatoes? So this is basically, think of animated films that came out in 1995. I've got a couple, but give me multiple choice. Alright, is it A, Ghost in the Shell, B, Toy Story, C, A Goofy Movie, or D, Pocahontas? I'm gonna say A Goofy Movie. That is correct for one point. 53%. Last question, Jeff. What is the Rotten Tomatoes score for Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? It's got to be high. I'm going to say 98%. Five, four, three. 98%. What a guess, Jeff. You're right. It is 98%. Two points. Wow. All right. Next, let's, we're going to go with Cody. Choose your first category of choice. Alrighty, let's go with new releases. New releases, good choice. Okay. Alright, Cody, here's your first question. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Beauty and the Beast? Alright, so it's a new one. Mm -hmm. Multiple choice. Is it A, 84%, B, 75%, C, 64%, or D, 70%? Let's go with B. That is incorrect. Who do you choose? Let's go with Tyler. Uh, Tyler. Can, you re can you repeat the choices one more time? I can. Is it A, 84%, B, 75%, C, 64%, D, 70%? D. D is correct for one point. Cody, what is the Rotten Tomatoes score for King Arthur, Legend of the Sword? Okay, everybody bash this movie. Isn't it 27%? That is incorrect. Who do you choose? <laughs> um, okay, let's go with Cedric. Cedric. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> uh, multiple choice? Uh, you can't go multiple choice. You didn't ah, choose it. Damn it. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to ballpark it and say 40. <laughs> 40 is incorrect. So close, Cody. 28%. Are you oh, kidding I me? <laughs> <laughs> And finally, Cody, which 2017 comic book movie has the highest Rotten Tomato score? 2017, so let's see here. Five. Let's go with 
Logan. Three. Logan is correct. Two points for Cody. 93%. Also one of the best films of the year. I 100% agree. Cedric, what's your first yep. category? Uh, let me do... Comedies. Comedy. Cedric, what is the Rotten Tomatoes score for Dumb and Dumber 2? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> it, it can't be anything above 2%. Uh, no, 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 that's not my answer. But, uh, <laughs> all right, uh, multiple Five, choice. <laughs> no, no, four, no, multiple choice. Multiple choice. <laughs> is it A, 29%, B, 11%, C, 20%, D, 36%? I'm going to do 29% A. That is correct for one point. Cedric, which John Hughes comedy film is his highest score on Rotten Tomatoes? Breakfast Club? That is incorrect. Ah, damn it. Who do you choose? Uh, let me do Tyler, because he's probably going to get it right. <laughs> Tyler. Uh... <laughs> A little, uh, pretty in pink. That is incorrect. The correct answer is planes, trains, and automobiles. Oh, 94%. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, them. Cedric, which film in the American Pie franchise has the lowest score on Rotten Tomatoes? Do the spin-offs count? <laughs> What's your answer? Uh, no, I was asking, do the spin-offs count? No. Alright, uh, with multiple choice? Yes, multiple choice. Is it A, American Wedding, B, American Pie 2, C, American Reunion, or D, American Pie? Well, let me go with, um, let me go with Reunion. That is correct for one point. That just sounds like a shitty movie. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Tyler, what's your first category? I gotta go with, uh, Scorsese. Scorsese, okay. Alright, Tyler. What is the Rotten Tomatoes score for The Wolf of Wall Street? 77%. That is correct for two points. I know, yeah. What is the Rotten Tomatoes score for Raging Bull? 95%. That is correct. And what film of Scorsese's is his lowest score? That would be... Five, four, three, two. Hey, multiple choice. One. Yes. Is it A. Hugo, B. Boxcar Bertha, C. Casino, or D. New York, New York? It's Boxcar Bertha. That is correct for one point. Yes, Tyler did his homework indeed. Back over to Jeff. What's your final category of choice? Um, let's go with. Action Adventure. Action Adventure. Okay. Jeff, what is the Rotten Tomatoes score for The Expendables? Uh, I have a guess, but I need points, so give me multiple choice. Is it A, 24%, B, 35%, C, 41%, or D, 58%? I'm going to go 58%. That is incorrect. Who do you choose? Let's go with Cedric. All right, Cedric. 41. That is correct for one point. I don't know how I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> good guess, good guess. <laughs> Jeff, which, Jeff, which film in Peter Jackson's Middle Earth Saga is as highest rated on Rotten Tomatoes? Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. Return of the King is incorrect. Who do you Damn. choose? Uh, I want to stay away from Tyler, so let's go Cody. Okay, good choice. Cody. <laughs> All right, The Two Towers. The Two Towers is correct. Two points. Good job, Cody. And finally, Jeff, which 1987 action movie has the highest Rotten Tomato score? I need multiple choice. All right, is it A, Predator, B, The Living Daylights, C, Lethal Weapon, or D, Robocop? Oh, I've narrowed it down to two in my mind. I'm going to go with my gut and say uh, Lethal Weapon. Four. 
lethal weapon is incorrect. Who do you choose? Oh, man, I chose everybody else. Tyler, have at it. All right, Tyler. Can you, re can you repeat it every one yes. more time? If which 1987 action movie is the highest score in Rotten Tomatoes? Predator, The Living Daylights, Lethal Weapon, or Robocop? Uh, pro uh, Predator? That is also incorrect. It is Robocop, 88%. That was my other choice. <laughs> Dang it. Mm. All right, we're back to Cody. What's your final category? My final category is comic book movies. All right. Cody, what is the Rotten Tomato score for Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice? Let's go multiple choice on this one. Is it A, 50%, B, 27%, C, 62%, D, 22%? 27%. That is correct for one point. Cody. What, Cody, what is the Rotten Tomato score for Dread? Carl Urban. Carl Urban, yes. That is multiple choice. Is it A, 84%, B, 91%, C, 59%, or D, 78%? 78%. That is correct for one point. Cody, which 2014 comic book movie has the second highest score in Rotten Tomatoes? Again, 2014, let's see here. Five, four. Is it X X Men Days of Future Past? That is correct. I would have accepted that or Guardians of the Galaxy since they both have ninety one percent. Okay. All right, and now we go to Cedric. What's your final category? Um, let me do horror. Horror. Cedric, which Nightmare on Elm Street film, including the remake, is the lowest score on Rotten Tomatoes? The remake? <laughs> that is correct, Cedric. Two points. Fifteen <laughs> percent. You were exactly right. <laughs> I didn't even have to All think right. about it. <laughs> All right. All right, Cedric, what is the Rotten Tomato score for The Witch? I know it's high. Everyone was talking about it. Um, multiple choice? Is it A, 91%, B, 56%, C, 87%, or D, 68%? Uh, let me do A. That is correct for one point. All right, finally, Cedric, what is the Rotten Tomato score for The Babadook? Uh, multiple choice. Is it A, 80%, B, 71%, C, 92%, D, 98%. Uh, let me say 80%. That is incorrect. Who do you Damn. choose? Right. I choose... Um, let's see. Let me choose Jeff. Jeff. Can I hear multiple choice again, please? Yes, is it A, 80%, 71%, 92%, or 98%? I'm going to go with 92%. That is also incorrect. It is 98%. Wow. All right, Tyler, what's your final category? No, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. You got to do Tom Cruise. How do you doing? Tyler, what is the Rotten Tomato score for Top Gun? 56%. That is correct for two points. Tyler, after the year 2000... How many movies with Tom Cruise have over a 90% on Rotten Tomatoes? Five, four... Can you repeat the question real quick? Yep. After the year 2000, how many movies with Tom Cruise have over a 90% on Rotten Tomatoes? I'm gonna go four. That is incorrect. Who do you choose? I'll do uh, Cody. Cody. Uh, dang it. Um. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's Five. go six. That is also incorrect. Five. 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 Finally, Tyler. What is the Rotten Tomato score for Rain Man? 
that would be 90%. That is correct for two points. All right, that concludes round two. Cody, what's the score? At the end of round two, Tyler maintains his tremendous lead with 21 points. In second place, we have Cody with 10 points. And in third place, close behind with Cody, is Cedric with eight points. And unfortunately, with four points, Jeff becomes our first Rotten contestant. How was round two for you guys? Did your category get chosen? Or would you have chosen a different category? Let us know down below. Ah, uh, Jeff, man. To give us your final thoughts overall, what you could have done better, and who do you... Th uh, I don't even have to... Uh, just give us your final thoughts. Well, unlike Tyler, I did not study for this. Uh, um, maybe I should have. Um, best of luck, Tyler. I think you got it in the bag. Alright guys, let's go into round three. Round three is the listening round. I'm going to give you a random question and you all have 30 seconds to come up with as many films as possible related to the question. It could be anything, an actor, an actress, or a director, etc. You have to list as many things as possible. Once time is up and I say your name, please show your paper to the camera and say what you have written down on your paper. Each correct answer is worth one point. And the person with the least amount of points is the second Rotten contestant. Here's your question. List as many films as you can that have over an 85% on Rotten Tomatoes, featuring the actor Samuel L. Jackson. We all know Samuel L. Jackson loves to say motherfucker. If you watch the movie Hitman's Bodyguard, you know he says that word a lot. But the question is though, how many movies has he been in that have over an 85%? So. Get the most. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, stop. Alright, let's start with Cody. What do you have? I have Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Iron Man and 1408. Um, that is two correct answers, Cody. Unfortunately, 1408 is not on there. So two points. All right. All right, Cedric, what do you have? I have uh, Winter Soldier, Pulp Fiction, uh, Avengers 1 and 2 and Iron Man. That is four correct answers. Unfortunately, Age of Ultron is not on there. So. Alright, and Tyler, what do you have? That put uh, Civil War, uh, The Winter Soldier, and Pulp Fiction. That is two correct answers. Unfortunately, Samuel Jackson does not appear in Civil War. So, that is two correct answers for Tyler. All right, Cody, what is the score after round three? At the end of round three, Tyler is still holding on to that lead with 23 points. And we have a tie down at the bottom. Both Cody and Cedric have 12 points, which means they have to go into sudden death to determine who's moving on and who is the next rotten contestant. Did you guys think of any more Samuel L. Jackson movies? Let us know. Guys, this is sci-fi, your category. What is the Rotten okay. Tomato score for Looper? Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Cedric, what do you have? Uh, I first wrote down 89%, I erased it and put 90%. Okay, Cody, what do you have? 92%. And Cody was the closest by one point. 93%. <laughs> Cedric, unfortunately, you are the second Rotten contestant. Uh, I had a lot of fun, and I'm actually surprised that I got this far. I thought it was going to be the first one to <laughs> be kicked off. No, but I had a lot of fun meeting you guys, and thank you so much, Ryan, for having me on here. <laughs> Looking at the current score, Tyler has a 10-point lead on Cody. 23 to 13 
And because there's only a total of nine points you can get in round four, there's no need to go on. Tyler, congratulations. You are the winner of episode two of Rotten or Fresh, which means, Cody, you are our third and final Rotten contestant. It is a technical knockout. Tyler Tompkins came in here and crushed it. Wow. That's what you get for studying. Tyler, just... Cody, give us your final thoughts overall. All right, honestly, I could have studied a little harder, but I was happy to be part of this game. And Tyler, it was nice meeting you. You crushed it. You're awesome. Everybody in this game is fantastic. And Ryan, thank you for creating this thing. No problem, man. And Tyler, what are your final thoughts? Yeah, well, just like Cody said, it was great meeting all of you too, Cedric and Cody. It was great. And Ryan, thanks again for inviting me to be a part of the show. I actually really like this show a lot. It's a really cool concept. And I, I really didn't, even though I studied, I mean, this game could go, you know, one of two ways. And I guess studying paid off, but it was still a blast. And I had fun competing with everyone. Thanks, thanks again to everyone. Awesome. And this was a great match overall, but you guys all did a fantastic job. Thank you guys so much for competing. Thank you guys at home for watching. Let us know down below in the comments who you guys predicted to win based on my poll on Facebook and Snapchat. Did you love this show all around? Do you think this episode was rigged and I just gave the answers? Let us know down below in the comments. But I want to give you guys all a chance to shout out your social media pages. So we will start with Cedric. Where can we find you on social media? Uh, social media, everything was is with my name, Cedric Purcell on Facebook. It makes everything easier. YouTube, Cedric Purcell. Um, I think my Twitter is uh, Cedric Purcell 96. That's the only slightly different thing. But yeah, that's it. All right, cool. Cody, where can we find you? All right, you can find me on Twitter at underscore Cody underscore Curtis, on YouTube at Cody Curtis, and haven't switched this yet, but my Instagram handle is still Cody underscore Lamro, was just adopted, so my name is Curtis, not Lamro. But you can find me at those places. That's important. Jeff, where can we find you at? You can find me here on YouTube and on Facebook at Jeffito's Movie Blog and on Twitter simply at Jeffito's Blog. Awesome. And Tyler, the champion, where can we find you? You can find me on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram just by searching Tyler Tompkins. I should be the first or second one that comes up. Awesome. And you guys know where you can find me because you're watching me now. Definitely see Tyler compete in the championship match that I am planning to do in the future. Hopefully, Tyler can take down Sean Chandler because he proved it. Someone needs to take down Sean Chandler. Oh, I will. I will. I'll do it. Definitely check that out once we do it in the future. Thank you guys, as always, for watching this video and Rotten or Fresh as general. And as always, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, go subscribe to all four of these guys and definitely to me. Thank you guys once again for watching. As always, all my social media links are in the description down below. Be sure to click that notification bell on your way out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!